this this morning, watch. Look. Did it stay there? <laughs> this is my new microphone. Press. <sighs> Matt breath, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always just get this. <laughs> It's a Wednesday and I'm off work today. I'm going to get my hair done. So I thought I'd video myself doing my makeup. This is a normal look. Um, it's a look that I like. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to do all of it. I'm doing all my makeup today. And I found some more of these. Look, aren't these cute? I got these from Claire's Accessories in, in uh, England. If only, they have Claire's, they have Claire's, do they have, they have Claire's in America, don't they? Anyway. I'm gonna do a whole thing, look at the state of my hair. So, yes, um, thank you to all my subscribers and um, please like my video and uh, just sit and chat with me while I'm doing my makeup today and hold on to the very, 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 very end. I found something amazing, you guys have to see it. And I didn't put it at the end intentionally, I almost forgot, I just pressed, <sighs> Matt breath, sorry. Um, I just pressed the, I need to press the stop recording button and it was right next to the button. So I did like, oh, I needed to share with you, it's a game changer. Um, so yeah, I've just done my, my everyday makeup again today. Um, mustardy colors, this is the palette, done swatches. Um, so yes, here it goes, watch me. <laughs> I always just get this. <laughs> oh, I just have to get used to everything being back to front again. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's out. Okay, so we have a new mic, and um, yeah, it's it has a different sound. I know that the lens doesn't make that. I could pretend to be doing that, couldn't I? While I'm doing my makeup. Anyway, so. Yeah, we've got a new, new, new microphone, which is here, somewhere. Oh, it's over there. Let's try again. This is my new microphone. I'm very professional now, okay. Rising star. I have a 25 pounds Amazon microphone to clip on. Right, okay, enough of that jolliness uh, let's put on some foundation I'm going to put more on today because somebody said to me that the coverage looks really patchy and orange and I have to agree with her that is exactly how it looks on screen I have no idea why because it doesn't really look like in re like that in real life but I what I am discovering is that I actually don't wear a lot of foundation um I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing I just don't seem to have a lot I can still see when I've been looking at my skin lately I can still see my freckles um you know and all the stuff on my forehead so um I guess I'm probably a medium a light to medium coverage kind of girl because I what I don't want to do is look like I remember I used to see people years ago and just think my god you've got so much makeup on your face your skin looks like cardboard but um yeah I'm going to do that today because I'm, I'm very, I, I tried it yesterday when I went to work but I, I don't think I had much more on. I've got, so I've got two pumps on today. I normally just put one pump. I've been tending to mix it as well. <clears throat> Depends what, what day of the week it is because on Friday I'm very brown. Saturdays I'm still very brown, probably browner because I do my tan. And then Sunday you know, a quick shower, quite brown, and then, you know, it all goes downhill for the rest of the week. I don't put any more fake tan on during the week, unless I'm going to paradise. Doesn't happen every week. Anyway, right, okay, so, that's probably about as much as I want to go in with. Still looks patchy on the screen. I've got a great big hair there. It's not a real one, but let's get rid of it. I know where that's come from, probably Dolly, it looks like one of Dolly's hairs. I'm really nervous now that this sound isn't working. I have no idea why, because I'm just, just nervous. Probably worrying about nothing and I may end up just doing a complete voiceover. We'll see. Right, okay. That's that done. Um, so today I'm not necessarily going to give you any instructions on anything. I'm just chatting. I'm just getting ready. I'm going to the hairdressers. And um, I'm going to have my hair coloured again because it's going grey. I'm not sure what that's about. 
Okay, so uh, next. So I haven't prepared anything. I've got a few brushes on my table, but I've got the other ones over here. Br brushes are listed below. I'm going to do um, a brush, my brushes um, video because people do send me messages. Uh, send me messages asking what brushes I use. I'd like to be able to get the Wayne Goss ones for Who Did Eyes, but you know, God, I'm not that rich. So yeah, I've got my own little collection and I'm going to do a video on those. I'm just now putting some, I'm just now putting way too much powder on my chops. Um, where I'm going to put, because obviously I'm very oily, where I'm going to put the um, the bronzer and the blusher and the, the contour. So and my, and my very, 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 very oily T-zone. This makeup is good. I didn't, I have started to notice that I think it breaks, breaks up on my, down here but I, I can't quite tell I do spend a lot of time like that at work <laughs> probably shouldn't but hey right that was that so now I'm going to do contour with my Kevin O'Quan stuff uh, if I can find my contour brush it's hiding over there um, so uh, I was wondering whether you'd like me to do a video not doing anything specific but um, a QA. and a some you know people I'm getting loads of comments about you know just about that's Jacob. Jacob, we haven't seen you before. Get him when he comes back. Um, yeah so got quite a few questions about myself and people telling me about their them and what they're doing it's lovely so I wondered if Jacob what's this come here um but yeah I wondered if you wanted to know anything about me specifically because um, I'm just aware that I just chat to the camera and I seem to know a lot about the people that I watch on YouTube and you guys don't probably know anything about me. Yes, I've got a cup with a chip in it. That's how I roll. I'm breaking myself into drinking out of anything that's not white because I really struggle with drinking out of cu cups with colour on. It's a whole thing, you don't want to go there. Right, okay, um, yeah, Ooh, where does that come from? Oh, that's not even attached to my head. Great, my hair's all fallen out. Goes through stages like that. It's all broken here. Oh, I can't say whether it's menopausal or not. I'm not sure if I'm going through the menopause yet. The periods are all over the shop, but, you know. You know. Um, oh, there's another one. I'm going to be bored by the end of this video. <laughs> okay, uh, bronzer. Right, this is my new favourite lovely thing, uh, Wet n Wild Bronzer. I'll list it below. This stuff is mashing. It is a little bit shiny. Um, I need to stop trying to put it there because I really, really, really want to put it there because I normally do. Um, I'm doing this very lightly because it is quite brown and I've already got quite a dark foundation on. So I always get this patchy bit just here that doesn't bloody collect the makeup. What, what do I do about that? I can't can't thingy right yeah so shall I do a QA? and a so I'm gonna do a post a community post I always put bronzer on my nose because a little, little little button um, I'm gonna do a community post and just put some see if anyone wants me to ask any questions and I can just get ready can't I and then talk to you guys and tell you stuff you want to know like what did I have for breakfast watch this space it's coming up right that's that done uh, blush from my special palette my BH Cosmetics. Love this thing. I'm going to get Jacob because he's just sitting next to me. Hold on. Oh, I've got, remember I've got a microphone on. Jacob. It's Jacob. He says hello. Huh? No camera, Jacob. Can you see? Oh, well, he's in the camera. Are you looking? Jacob hates cameras. Well, he doesn't like when he's shoving mobile phone in his face. Jacob is seven and he's a Russian toy. Same as Dolly. He's a little monkey. And he barks all the time. There you go. Right, anyway, where were we? <laughs> That's both of them now, you've seen. Um, let's go back in a little bit more. Uh, yeah, so uh, Q&A, said, we said about that. Um, I also wanted to kind of like maybe try and start a conversation in the chat thing below, comment section below. I want to know why you're here. want to know what made you go onto YouTube to start looking at makeup and stuff like that I find that really interesting because obviously I've been on this journey and 
I'm guessing you guys are all here for different reasons and you want to learn different stuff at different levels um, or maybe you were used to watch YouTube and then you just saw a makeup one and thought oh I'll have a look at that and then you got completely hooked I am um, I'm not I can't really remember obviously I went to Bobby Brown's stall didn't I the stall um, the stand in John Lewis it's like the equivalent of Macy's or um, what's the brown shop Bloomingdale's is it Bloomingdale's Macy's I love Macy's 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 is my favorite shop ever I wish they had one in England or two or three or four okay that's my blusher I'm gonna I'm gonna do this this is like I'm going over all of everything really really lightly um what do you call it does this I can't remember her name now Puffin's wife she used to be called Melanie Mel 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 you'll know who I mean because on screen my blusher look just there looks really patchy Ooh. it's really not <laughs> I don't want it to look patchy um okay so that's my blush um yeah, so why are you here? Tell me why you're here. Um, I, I'm getting to know quite a few of you. It's lovely. Um, getting to know people's names and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, tell me why, why you're here and talk to each other. And, you know, it's lovely. I, so it's really nice to see you all, you know, someone will say something and someone will say, oh, da 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 da. But, yeah, we're creating a super hoodie community. Um, I'm also going to do a, a video on hoodie dyes because I did this this morning. Watch. Look. Did it stay there? <laughs> So yeah, so we're going to do, uh, you know, let's talk about hooded eyes. I'm going to do that. Um, just do that again for sheer why not. God, that's horrendous, isn't it? Oh, probably done some damage there. Um, no, don't want mascara. I'm not sure why I picked that up. What am I doing? Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to do it on here, but I'm going to speed through it because, uh, yeah just takes forever it doesn't really take forever that's an, a total lie but you don't want to watch it because you've seen it all before I do it I'm doing it a little bit thinner at the moment and they seriously seriously need plucking they are horrendous um, there's another lady that I wanted to tell you guys about her name is uh, Angela Stewart she's from New Zealand um, I don't know her very well she's been very helpful in a couple of messages but she's also got um, quite hooded eyes, she won't mind me telling you. And she does some really good instructional videos. Um, her eyes are quite different to mine. Um, but yeah, go and have a look. I will try and link her channel below. I'm not sure how to do that. I can't, uh, I'm waffling away. Right, I'm not gonna talk anymore because I'm gonna speed through this. I'll tell you about that afterwards. did it a bit there anyway we don't mind do we all good friends so uh yep yeah, that's them done quick cup of coffee yeah so angela angela stewart she's um the, i think probably the other person with her eyes probably not as hooded as mine definitely nowhere near as wrinkly as mine but nonetheless she has hooded eyes and she she's her instructions are so clear and concise, you will learn a lot from her if you have hooded eyes, without a doubt. She wears her eyeshadow different to mine. Um, she's great with shimmer as well, which, you know, I, you know I steer clear of shimmer. <laughs> I wish I could wear it, but it just looks crap on me. Right, okay, I feel like I've missed something. Probably have. Um, yes, my gel. Somebody asked me, this is really interesting, and I said I didn't, I didn't know the answer, but I do now. Um, I'm really more scandalised in grey. You see how powerful this stuff is. This is the magic. This is the stuff from angels. Um, they wanted to know um, why I put mica gel on now, my coal liner. And I said, I don't know. But I do know because what I'm going to do... Oh, I know what I haven't done. Ah! I didn't put concealer under my eyes. Oh, I don't know how this is going to go now. It's going to be a complete 
mess. But I've, because I'm a little bit brown, I'm using L'Oreal True Match underneath my eyes, which is a little bit darker than the bourgeois. Just gonna put a little touch, a little touch. This is probably gonna go horrendously wrong now because I'm gonna put it over dry stuff. Notice I'm not going, I'm not going under, right underneath my eye, I'm going here, here, on that puffy fat bit. I've lowered it down a little bit and it does appear to help. So um, Maybelline Fit Me, loose powder. Ellie gave it back, <laughs> it was on my doorstep the other day, bless her. And um, yeah, so I'm all right now, probably for another six months. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna, I've gone a bit off track now, so bear with me, I'm just waffling. Right, okay, uh, eyebrows are fat and messy. And they look a bit red for some reason today. Maybe it's the lighting. Right, I'm going to put my curl. Yes, so the reason that I put my curl on now is because, I'll show you, oh, I sharpened it yesterday. Gonna blend that in with a Real Techniques squ squidgy whatever it is, listed below. Can you see me properly? Yeah, why not, let's go a little bit closer. Blending it so there's no... I think that makes a hell of a difference. It looks a bit more nice. Still learning not to do it this with my mouth wide open. Jake is still clucking like a chicken, sorry about that. Okay, so um, now this is the reason I do this now because I'm going to lift my eyelid and when I do that with my eyeshadow, I tend to have it all over my finger and sometimes I move the eyeshadow around on my eyelid. Great, somebody started drilling out the front or sawing or something industrial. I might have to shut the window. I can't even appear to do this correctly today. One moment. I've got to unplug myself and shut the window. Okay, right, so we're back. Um, yep, we're back. Drilling's still going on, but I shut the window. It's going to get hot in here now. So that's that. So I've got a uh, waterline, done the top waterline, bottom waterline. I've done my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Get yourself this. Right, I'm going to do today, I made a little palette up just for you guys. So we've got um, Makeup Geek and uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. So we've got, oh, here we go. This is where it's all back to front. Anastasia Beverly Hills Custard. This is Desert Sands by Makeup Geek. This is Mocha by Makeup Geek. And this is Chickadee. Is it? Chickadee by Makeup Geek. They are. They're all uh, defying gravity. God, the things we get up to on this channel is fantastic, isn't it? So yeah, um, the I'm just gonna. This is my. I'm gonna say every time I put this makeup on, this these colours. I look in the mirror in the car, I think, oh, I like that, and then I don't wear it again for quite some time. I'm gonna wear it today because oh, forgot. Look, forgot to put that back on. See, I'm gonna get out one day and pull the entire filming stuff studio with me when I get up uh, right come on Julie work it out right okay so I'm gonna go in with should we swatch these let's just swatch these first so this is Anastasia Beverly Hills custard right it's really it's just a there you go then we've got chickadee and we've got Desert Sands. And then lastly, we've got Mocha. Can you see how the colours kind of graduate? A little <laughs> I need to get some kind of special thing on going on here, don't I? Where it's kind of like, you know, you guys never know that I'm licking my fingers or I just get something proper to wipe my fingers with. How about that? Right, uh, am I zooming you in the normal way? No. Right, let's do this. Um, a little bit that way. Um, so, yep, yeah, 
Going in with Transition. Windscreen Wiper Motioned because we can. This is our first colour going down so it doesn't matter. Not loads of colour on there. So what got you into makeup? What made you what made you decide that you are here looking for makeup? What what is it about makeup that that does it for you? Is it some you know? Are you just a mascara kind of girl, just or guy? Shove a bit on and go to work, or are you like me and sit for an hour in the morning just fanning around doing your makeup? Where where or do you fall somewhere in between that category? Have you been doing it forever, or have you been? Are you new? Are you new? Because when I came here, I'd only done you know the one colour kind of thing. I'm using my massive blender brush to go underneath my eyes. I'm being very bad today. <clears throat> right. Sorry. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, right, and that's sorted out. Someone's coming to collect something and they're going to be here in 15 minutes. No doubt I'm going to look like a scary lady when I answer the door because my makeup's not going to be finished. So, done that one. I'm now going in with, uh, I'm using the same brush because I want to blow this colour out. This is Desert Sands. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting it there. Oh, see, I always remember to put the powder on to stop the fallout. But as soon as I can start to get some fallout, I'm going to just do things arse upwards, I do. Right, okay. Remind me to take this off before I go and see the delivery driver. Uh, yeah, so... Okay, I'm patting now. You can see, even though I'm using the, the big blowout brush, I'm patting. And I'm going quite the way over again. Into there and out again. And this is, I'm, I'm enjoying the blown out look at the moment from uh, courtesy of Brianna Fox. She's great, love her. Obviously she's really young and got the most amazing skin. Perfect eye shape and all of that, but still love watching those people. Do you love watching people, even though you think, oh, can I aspire to be like that, but I've got, I've got hope in hell. I think that colour looks different to that colour. It does to me. <sighs> I thought I've got my lighting quite even, but I haven't. So, uh, yeah, right. So that's that, that's that done. Um, I'm going to blend that a little bit with my blending brush. Very, very lightly. Show you the angle very, 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 very lightly. Same on this side. And obviously we're taking some off, that's fine. Uh, so, um, yeah. So, yeah, um, I, I'm in love with makeup. I, I'm going to get more stuff. Um, I'm very, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a video on my palettes as well because I'm very, very picky what I buy. Cause so many palettes have so much shimmer in them i just I, I it feels like i'm wasting my money on half the shadows that i'll never use i've got like 10 shimmer shimmer shadows from makeup geek or what have you or they're in they're in various palettes but i, I just tend not to use them at all um right so we're going to go um a little bit darker now we're going into mocha mocha was the dark brown one let me show you mocha Need to get, still need to get my skill. I'm going to tap this, and normally I would go a little bit darker, but today I'm just, I'm going to try to not have such a smoky eye. But no, we're already there. See, I'll just go around in a ten pence piece. This is going to be my and my dime. The same on this side. So I do, you guys have recommended some people to me. Um, I watch Risa does makeup, uh, not as often as probably as I should. I feel like um, I don't know. I just don't. I don't connect with her for some reason, which is very strange. And you guys have recommended Dominic Stash Sash Dominic. Um, she's really, um, really, really professional, isn't she? Her videos are, gosh, blimey. Um, it's just like watching a movie. She's so good. Um, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, again, her eyes aren't very similar to mine. So I, but, but there are other people like Raw Beauty Christy. I'm not sure if you do, you do, you guys watch her. You know, she's got perfect eyes. She's just the most amazing, down to earth person. I could sit and watch her. When I when I found her, I li I literally watched her videos from start to finish. And then there were hundreds. It was kind of something. So I had my own little baby obsession going on. And um, 
Yeah, she is great. Wayne Goss is brilliant as well. Um, he's got he's got hooded, quite hooded eyes, but he's got not he hasn't got much space in between his eyelash eyelid eye and his eyebrow. So I can't, you know, I've watched, I've done these techniques, but they don't, don't for some reason they don't work on me. And obviously there's um, Nisha, Angie Hot and Flashy, Hot and Flashy. She's lovely, and she used to have really hooded eyes, and they're not hooded anymore. So she's been to see a magician. No, she explained how she's done all of that, but that's really good. Um, I'm literally waffling like a mad woman here. So that's, um, yeah, looks quite muddy on screen. In in my world, it's perfect. Uh, underneath um, this is a little um, brush uh, gonna do desert sands because we did a little did a little bit of the other one the custard um, oh sorry so selfish aren't I I'm giving you a makeup tutorial no I just, oh that will teach me to show off Okay, underneath, remember we're blowing out again. Um, not got no machine with that, but let's go a little. I'm right, okay, this is that Max stamping skinny brush. I'm gonna get mocha, tap it off, and I'm just gonna go along the water, the, my lower water line, just to accentuate a little bit. Does it make, that made zero difference whatsoever. Uh, and now this is when I do the thing. So for some reason, um, I now go in with chickadee. I, I must have seen someone do this because I never would have thought this myself. I'm going to get a little bit on the brush, tap it off, and I'm going to go over all of it. And for some reason, it brings, I think it brings the look all together. Can you see a difference? Please say yes, because <laughs> I can't see it on the screen, but I can see it in my mirror. That eye is really hooded. I, mu I must have pulled it around a little bit too much. A little bit on the brush. I think, uh, yeah, I like it anyway. Um, I'm going to stamp a little bit into my lash line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get just a darker color. I'm gonna use um, Nars. Coconut Grove to stamp on my, because I have I don't feel like I've got enough of a deep of a, of a dark lash line so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one I oh, know okay, I'm gonna do this one and then I'll show you close up obviously we can't us hoodies can't wear eyeliner can't do the wing thing even, even though I'm very tempted to do a video on winged eyeliner for hooded eyes that would be hilarious won't it okay um, let me work this out and put that there I'm gonna stamp this along the lash line. Oh god, that's a poking myself in the eye. You see? Probably as close as we're gonna get. Oh my god, there's so much mess on this table. Right, okay, um now I'm going to do the important bit that lifts my brow. I think uh, this little skin colour thing from Viseart, any skin colour one will do. And I'm going to put it. I'll do one, show you it, and then not, and then not do the other one. And you can tell me what, how, how much difference you think it makes. And then I go in there. Remember, because my really, really dark, deep set eyes. So, what do you think? Can you see the difference? Oh, it's not straight. Look how much that lifts my eyebrow. Um, I'm going to blend because because I hate it. I blend. Do the same on this one. I always get white eyeshadow, or whatever colour it is, in my brows, and then I look like a, a, a moron. Mm, right, let's wipe that away. So it quite cleverly picks up the stuff that fell down first of all as well. I've got that, you know, just, I just need to keep remembering to do it, don't I? Um, now I'm going to do my mascara. I won't be long. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to be doing my mascara when that man comes, aren't I? That just won't do. So I'm going to stop in a second. Still loving these lashes. These ones never get as long as the other ones.
some of my gel stick has come off. I must have rubbed it with the brush, so I'm put a tiny bit in there. Corner. Let's go over it again. This is grey. I'm loving the grey. It's not as harsh. Um, now, I can automatically see, I'm going to show you with something pointy, that this bit here still looks quite hooded. I don't know if you can see here. Look. When I look straight. I need to I need to darken that, that bit up and I will do that, but I'm gonna just go because the delivery driver is pulling up. Okay, right, where was I? I've lost me things on my head because he would have thought I was a lunatic. Right. Um so I'm gonna put a little bit of dark now. Remember I said that that bit there still to me when I look dead on, there's not much definition and it's most definitely on that side as well. So I feel like I need a bit more definition and we're gonna do oh, going to do a little bit of coconut grove very pigmented elf brush listed below and I'm going to go really careful because I've got no powder underneath my eye now but I just want to put something here I'm going to show you what difference it makes and it will look different as well when I put my lashes on everything changes after lashes oh that breath of windy out there right can you see the difference Going to do that on the other side. Just looking for my brush then. It's in my hand. Again, we're just so we, we're, we're creating a fake crease, stretching the skin of my eyes because when I fold them back up again, the fold <coughs> is no take up. The delivery driver's still cocking around in the garden, so of course Jacob needs to tell me all about it. Um, okay, blend that in. No fallout, wee. Very, very lightly. Don't take it all off again. Okay. So I'm happy with that now. Uh, mascara is on. Hair's fluffy. So, oh, can't wait to get it done today. Um, Mike's over there. Oh, I don't know if I'm ever going to learn this thing. Maybe I need to. Oh, let's put it back on again. Right. Okay. Sorry. Don't know if you heard any of that. We'll work it out. When I'm doing the editing, I'll work it out. I will be fine. So I'm going to put my lashes on. Um, wherever they are. I gave them a little bath this morning. So these are now three weeks old. And um, obviously I wear them every day. And this morning I picked all the glue off again like I normally do. And I gave them a little bath in micellar water with a Q-tip. And now they look good as new. So, mummy glue. Right. Okay, so I've now got my lashes on. Um, I'm feeling like I'm not, I haven't come up high enough on my, on my lid. I'm gonna just put a little bit more of the Magic Chickadee on. Cause for some reason it just, it, it just finishes everything off. So I'm just gonna go above. Uh, like I said, when you put your lashes on, things look, they, they look different. So we were adjusting our makeup afterwards. Another thing that Angela Stewart reminded me that I should do yesterday, so. There we are. Um, I've got a little bit of something, a little bit of build up there. Probably because I used the wrong, the wrong under eye concealer, whatever you call it. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Look dark there today. That bit there looks really dark. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, should we do some lips? Put lips on. Should I do. Da, 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 da. Where are we? Where are we? So we've got this one. I've got limited lip colours. I'm going to I'm going to line my lips in this. Uh, no, that's <laughs> that's gel stick or whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to line my lips with that. I'm going to. No, oh, here we go. This is Mac whipped. Is it Mac whipped? No, it's called Whirl. I've been calling it whipped all this time, and still that I stole this off of Ellie's mum, Betty. Hello, Betty. I can find out if she watches that video. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm not very good at this. I don't really like uh not so good with lips. Kathleen Lights taught me to do this from the outside up. Now obviously I've got really, really thin top lip. 
and uh, this does work and I'm going to zoom you oh <laughs> one day I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go across there a little I can't really can't talk while I'm doing a little <laughs> I'm gonna go there a little bit and oh Probably the wrong colour, it doesn't go with my eyeshadow, but then I'd look alright if it with yellow eyeshadow on, wouldn't I? Le yellow lips. Uh, this is Popsicle Buxom. Look at that for a bit of marketing, great, eh? <laughs> Dear. Buxom. It looks apricot on here, and you hit on. The colour disappears quite quickly. I feel like I honestly don't like lipstick at all. I look awful. Okay, so, no, that way. <sighs> Come a bit closer. Okay, so this is the finished look. And um, this is my... I've still got swatches. Wow, do you think my swatches match my hair? What do you think? Oh, no, wrong arm. So yes, this is the finished look. Um, this is my, I, I, this is my, you know, like I said to you, when I look in the mirror, I think I quite, I quite like it. it for some reason, maybe it complements my skin tone or something. It just looks quite put together, and that's no, I would never describe myself as put together. In fact, I'm perfectly undone. So, um, thank you so much for watching and getting ready with me today. Um, I'll, next time you see me, I'll be, I'll have hopefully a darker hair. It won't look so frizzy, and I will look a bit more normal. Um, Please like, do the like thing, the thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It's quite interesting because half of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So I must be doing something wrong. Maybe I need to blackmail you. I, I don't know. don't know how to do that. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching and being with me and sitting down. I hope some of you have had a cup of coffee with me today. Mine's gone completely cold and, um, you know, that's life. Oh, no, hold on. I wanted to share a new favourite, something that I got recently. Well, I've had it a couple of times before, but it's just the most amazing product in the world, and it's a game changer. Are you ready? Marmite Crunchy Peanut Butter. My God, this stuff is amazing. <laughs> I, know, I thought I'd make you laugh. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I had that on toast this morning. Um, I've always put Marmite with peanut butter. I had a lodger years ago and he said to me, put Marmite with peanut butter. I'm like, no, peanut butter is disgusting. And um, <laughs> I tried it and it was amazing. And then this came on the shelf. And then my life was complete. So, anyway, um, have a great day, whatever day it is, whatever week it is, whatever. Um, it's lovely to see you all again. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.